Cree has introduced yet another new LED bulb. In fact, calling it a better LED bulb. But how much better is it? Hey, it's Joe DeGanzik with another episode of Lighting Answers. You know, we cover LED lighting, home automation, and a little bit of everything in between. This time we're talking about another regular old LED replacement bulb, and some of you have actually emailed and commented wondering when we're going to actually talk about some specialty bulbs, PAR bulbs, and other things. And actually, they've been on the list. In fact, some of the footage has even been shot. Just haven't been able to uh, get that stuff out there. There is some news out of Cree. This was last month. A couple weeks ago, they announced a brand new LED bulb. Now, I say brand new because they will market it as brand new, but really it's a re-updated version of the LED bulb that they introduced in 2014, which of course was an updated bulb, kind of a total redesign of the bulb they introduced in 2013. So uh, we'll answer the question at the end of the episode, do you need to buy it or should you even buy it? Because here they are, and we're going to maintain this on, on the episode in terms of um, my left but your right is the new one, and my right, your left, is the old one. So. Can you tell the difference between the two? Yes. Look into my light bulbs. Yeah, it's something like that. Or look into my eyes. Anyways, um, this is the new one. This is the old one. One year ago, and literally like a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago. What's the difference? It's improved by an entire watt of power of efficiency. Pretty cool, uh, a little bit more than 10% power. Um, what that does, along with other performance gains such as a higher CRI, color rendering index, what that means is your colors are going to look better. Can you tell the difference between 80 and 83? This is the 83 CRI. Probably not, but they're doing it to achieve the performance required to get this bulb back onto Energy Star. And what that means is you'll see this bulb at a lower price than you saw the previous four flow um, bulb design. This was a little more expensive. It didn't have the rebates from utilities and whatnot because it wasn't Energy Star um, certified. The other, the uh, their original one was. Um, so this one now only taking, this is the 60 watt equivalent, soft white. This takes 10 watts of power. Again, 83 CRI. The light output, it's the same, 815 lumens. So it's a, a bright, wonderful bulb. And it pretty much looks the same. You can see this in this comparison photo um, they're pretty much the same. The light output, the brightness, and the spread, um, definitely looking at it um, over, you know, inside of um, table lamps gives you a really good idea of how good the light spread is. So there on the right is the new one, and on the left is the old one. Uh, dimming is the same thing. Pretty much you can see a just minor difference in, in how they uh, ramp off here. Um, we kind of sped that up a little bit in the dimming, but the dimming is still excellent. We tested it on two different dimmers and it still performed pretty much identical. Lutron had a little bit less of flicker than the Insteon dimmer. Cree introduced one last new thing saying we're guaranteeing that there is no hum, there's no buzz. Yeah, well we tested that as well and we found that there's still a little bit of hum and buzz on both the Lutron and the Insteon dimmers. Um, it's better than the previous generation, the 2014 generation but it's still there a little bit. Cree says if you don't like the dimming and the buzzing, you can just send it back or, you know, if you're not satisfied. So now a couple of the things that Cree has done, they have increased the lifespan from an average of about 23 years to 27 years. Now it's going to take some time to figure out if these bolts really last that long, but that's what their testing shows. They've also um, increased the warranty. They, they had a longer warranty on the original bulb from two years ago, 2013. Then the warranty decreased on the bulb that they introduced last year, which was the, this guy's predecessor. And then this year now, it's, it was, so they went from three years on the old guy to five years now. And a friend of mine actually had to um, ask, they had a, a bulb die, and they called Cree up and they said, hey, my bulb died, and Cree just said, let us know what it is and we'll just send you a new one. They didn't even have to send the old one back. 
that's how good some of these um, some of the manufacturers are in terms of the warranties. Other things, uh, we didn't actually run this through the drop test. I figured it'd be nice to uh, to these guys and not run it through the drop test. I assume it's the same design, um, so probably uh, you know they, they failed the drop test before, probably fail it again. Um, in terms of heat output, about 112 degrees, pretty much matching the previous one. It's a great bulb for that because of this design with the uh, the fins, it's basically a convection cooling design. So if you actually touch the outside of the bulb, even if actually the metal um, <clears throat> screw base, um, they do not get tremendously hot. That is a, a distinct difference from other bulbs that do have some sort of heat sink at the bottom. And that pretty much is all of the changes. This is available in a 40 and a 60 watt equivalent bulb um, in terms of, you know, that's what you're replacing with. The 40 watt is about 460 lumens. It's the same wattage that it took before, six watts. So not a lot of power anyways. And again, it has the energy star. Um, pricing, uh, it's between four and eight dollars now. You're gonna find these exclusively at Home Depot, but you'll find other resellers online and maybe some other stores randomly uh, selling these guys. So really not a lot of changes. They're, they're minuscule changes, minor upgrades. So now, like I said in the beginning, let's talk about the final question. Is the LED bulb industry becoming like the smartphone industry? You know, there's a new Samsung phone out there every year. There's a new uh, Nexus. There's a new iPhone. There's a new, you know, choose your flavor of brand of phone. And now it seems that every manufacturer seems to be releasing a new LED bulb every year or some some of them even more often um who is it we'd like to make fun of uh, oh yes phillips introduces multiple bulbs every year and uh, they're kind of like i i sort of compare phillips to like samsung anyways um they they put out some some good bulbs we've reviewed them on the show so i don't want to knock them too much um and they just updated their uh, phillips hue line which we'll actually be talking about um soon in, a, in another episode but anyways um do you really need to upgrade? My guess is no. If you have a bulb from 2013, and I'm not saying that you have this bulb, this is Cree's, there we go. Um, this is Cree's original bulb that they introduced. This is the one that does shatter. It's made out of glass plus silicone. It does have a heat sink, gets pretty darn hot. Um, you don't wanna touch it immediately after it's been on. Um, that's where this design um, is a lot better. But if you have some LED bulb at all from about the year 2013 onward, do you really need to upgrade to another bulb that's supposed to last 20 plus years? I mean, are we just gonna keep buying them and just we must have the latest thing? My recommendation, if you have an LED bulb already that you're very happy with, it's done well for two to three years, it dims well, you're happy with it, don't bother. We've got some new stuff going on here at Lighting Answers with the launch of the brand new website. The site is going to function as a companion, so to speak, or the videos are gonna function as a companion to the website. We hope that um, as time goes on, the website will actually have more content on it necessarily than the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is gonna to continue to have reviews, industry uh, analysis, news, tips, all that kind of good stuff. The website is now going to have articles that are going to be longer and uh, more beautiful with dedicated photos and so forth that will also cross-link to the videos. But some of the articles and some of the blog posts and whatnot will not have videos associated with them. We're doing this so that we can expand to an audience that doesn't necessarily want to watch a video. They want to read an article. They want to click a buy button. They want to get to more information where they're just reading every possible review of every light bulb or home automation gadget. Um, so uh, bear with us as the website sort of expands. It is sort of structurally there at this point, but it's not totally filled up. We have to fill it up with content from some of the old videos and get uh, some new articles written along with kind of back backloading some articles based on the existing reviews and uh, kind of content that we've got on the video side. So with all that being said, of course, you can find us across the web. You can find us everywhere, just Google Lighting Answers were one or two um, in terms of the search results and you'll find us there. Google Plus, Twitter, Facebook, just about every possible thing uh, that you could imagine in terms of following us. Outside of that, I'm Joe Deganzik reminding you to get out there and brighten up and automate your world. I'll see you next time.